currently in group four there are seven different subjects and we have 10 classes in year uh, 12 and 13. Um, we have biology, physics, chemistry, we have ESS, which is environmental systems and societies. We have design technology, computer science, and we have sports, exercise and health science. We have uh, two additional classes in group six, one higher level biology and one higher level uh, chemistry class. And that is for students who want to do two sciences, physics and chemistry or biology and chemistry, and we have now uh, a small number, but growing number of students who do physics and biology. Um, it's a practical base, all the courses are practical based courses, and we're required to complete um, 60 hours of practical work in higher level and 40 hours of practical work in standard level. In addition, all of the students have to complete an individual investigation, normally called the IA, which uh, should take about 10 hours, including the write-up, and that is formally assessed. So the students get to choose a subject, uh, plan the investigation, complete the investigation individually, and are responsible for the write-up, and then they have to submit the final uh, piece of work, which is uh, marked and, as I say, makes up 20% of the final grade. So the key uh, approaches to learning, which are the, the skills that underpin the way that we teach, are research, collaborative, uh, skills and the ability to analyse data, which is a key uh, assessment uh, skill. I, IB put a lot of uh, emphasis on the ability to evaluate and, uh, and analyse data. Um, students are also required to complete a Group 4 project, which is a multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary um, project where all science students and all the Group 4 classes uh, collaborate together and uh, research from different perspectives a, a topic which they themselves choose uh, and then they, they are required to report on that uh, and uh, students generally find that very enjoyable and quite interesting because they get the perspectives from students who are studying different science topics apart from them. Biology covers quite a, a wide array, array of subjects, um, topics which include, you know, the usual sort of cells, molecular biology, genetics, physiology, ecology and evolution. But the nice thing about it is we do all of those at standard level and then we'd extend those further for higher level students, um, for those who are obviously got a keener interest in those areas. Um, the biology course, as well as all other uh, Group 4 courses, try to incorporate theory of knowledge where we question ideas and also the international mindedness and for example in biology that we might be looking at something like the Human Genome Project and looking at the international collaborative efforts that went into that. So uh, the application and skills emphasis of the course as well allows students to question new technologies in order that um, discover new discoveries can be understood. Another very popular subject at Hockwell has been um, Environmental Systems and Societies, or ESS, which is one of the few interdisciplinary courses that the IB offers, which covers Group 3 and Group 4. One of the common um, sort of opinions about ESS is that it's just really a, you know, a cross between biology and geography, uh, which is, you know, it is a lot more than that. Um, one of the most common um, ideas that comes forward with ESS is that we look at different global environmental issues through a variety of lenses and that would include environmental philosophy from an ecological, economic, uh, socio-cultural, political and ethical uh, perspectives. The beauty of, of looking at all of the different um, ideas is that we can put them all together for the looking at the holistic perspective of the environment as a whole. So the IB chemistry course comprises of 10 key topics which range from bonding to periodicity to thermodynamics and redox reactions. Um, on top of this, there is also um, the option topics where you get to choose one of four, which include medicinal chemistry, material sciences, energy and biological sciences. On top of this, there is the nature of science course, which is embedded in all the group four subjects. Um, Nature of Science looks into the understanding and the application of science and it delves into how our scientific understanding has changed over time. So chemistry is a highly collaborative subject, um, so you will build your collaboration skills um, through group work and through practical work. On top of that, chemistry is highly synoptic and is classed as a central science because it embeds elements of physics and elements of biology. 
In the internal assessment for chemistry, you get to plan, carry out and write about a project which interests you. This really helps to develop investigation and practical skills. Chemistry is often a prerequisite for many higher education courses, some of which include medicine, engineering, natural sciences, pharmacy, environmental sciences, food technology and many more. Many students choose to study higher level physics because they want to, to, to go on to study um, engineering, physics as a pure subject or applied physics at university. Um, the main topics of course are, are electricity, forces, energy uh, and these are dealt with in a, a lot of detail uh, in the higher level course. Internal assessment projects students choose involve waves, energy, um, renewable energy is very popular uh, and, and applications of physics in, in, in the everyday life. Um, with choosing to study medicine at university I am able to take two sciences so whereas group four is the dedicated science subject um, group in the IB I can also take another higher level science at group six so I am actually able to study biology and chemistry at the same time and um, I've had both of, I'm doing both of the IAs for that at the moment and it works the same way as um, Group 4. What particularly interests me about biology is the fact that you basically get to explore how everything works in the real life. And you can sort of relate it to things you see every day, things you learn in class. For example, photosynthesis, you think about plants growing. But in the lessons itself, you learn how these like, different systems within the plant actually work and cause the end result. And then in terms of chemistry, what I find particularly interesting with chemistry is probably just, again, how things sort of work uh, in everyday life, but also how you know you can make slight changes to things like, for example, ozo ozone. You can find out how UV light, for example, you don't think about it, but it creates ozone, and the fact that chemicals that man-made can also act in a similar way as UV light and basically break ozone apart, and yeah, things like that. Well, at university, I want to study pharmacology, which is the study of drugs and the effect it has on the human body. And then I thought, well, obviously I need both chemistry and biology to do this. But and also because they're both interesting in the aspects in the sense that you get to like explore like the kind of the, the different avenues in which they hold. It's so interesting and like, so varied in like the, diff the many different ways in which you can like utilize both so yeah both subjects and also the freedom of choice within what we study. Well. Yeah, well, we're not, we're not limited and like, it's, it's so varied and it's just so eye-opening and to see all these like, natural ph like, phenomena. In our internal assessments, we have loads of like, flexibility in our choices that we need to like, that we can pick and anything that we can like, do as long as it's interesting and varied. And, like, and like, the, school, uh, yeah, so the school provides an amazing like, facility in order to well, house these interests of ours and like, the application of them as well. And that kind of demonstrates the kind of the strength and the rigour of the IB. For my chemistry IA, again, we were given free reign to choose basically whatever we wanted, as long as it's in some way related to the course. And so because I want to be a vet, I chose to do something that encompassed my interests. So I chose to study the uh, oxygen affinity of haemoglobin at different temperatures. So basically in my practical, I use a method called the Winkler method, where basically I could vary the temperature of my haemoglobin solutions and measure the amount of oxygen that it managed to sort of absorb into the water in that time? Uh, so I found through doing ESS I've been able to bring in my love of humanities but also pair that with science and ecology. So I've been able to get a better understanding of both the development of the globe and also the issues that we face but, uh, as a population but also I get a better understanding of the biology um, of the world as well. Yeah, so it's given me a broader understanding of not just specifically a humanities study, but also I've been able to get a more scientific view. So I do sports exercise and health science, and in that we study sport, but from a scientific point of view. So for example, stimuli in sport and memory processing, but then there's also the more scientific side of ventilation during exercise. And it also, it sort of factors in study of, of sport and biology and psychology as well. So. I find it just an interesting combination of all of the three and since it relates to activities that I love outside of school I find that I'm always engaged by the content that we're studying and even if I'm not the most scientific I still find a way to relate it to something that I love. 
So the DT course at high level um, involves the coursework, which is spanned over the whole of year 13, in which you have a major project that you work on, and um, uh, this major project is, uh, you eventually have to make a prototype of a product, and this teaches many skills about the manufacturing process, um, how to model, kind of sketching, and um, also organizing your work. So eventually, um, the higher students, eventually the higher students um, carry on with their work and do a further part of the project, which is about mass production and finances, um, about the prototype. The exam focuses on manufacturing processes, sustainability, modelling, um, and innovation, and so a range of different um, design topics. And this is applicable further in the future for maybe. Um, architecture, engineering, product design and a range of different um, subjects similar to that.